Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with uh, another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and I'm talking a little bit low because I have the volume up. I'm going to be talking about switches so I want to be able to capture as much of it as I can. Today I'm talking about Franken switching. Now if you're new to the hobby, one of the things that some people do, not everyone, but those that really get into switches and I guess I will count myself in there. Um, there's a subreddit, Switch Modders, and there's a good amount of people that are in it as well. And there's, there's actually been some really nice uh, Franklin switches that have been made from, you know, off the shelf components, basically. One of the best known ones probably uh, would be the BCP. Uh, the back, Black Cherry Pie, I believe is what it stands for, uh, that's made out of a J-Wick cherry top and a palm stem. I don't remember exactly. Um, then there's the, uh, the Holy Bobas, which are made out of a Boba U4T stem, and I forget the housing. I, I forget the recipes, and plus people change up the recipes. Anyway, I just wanted to give a little insight into how I go about doing uh, Franken switching because uh, I find this extremely relaxing. It, it is kind of like a puzzle, but sometimes I find a switch that I just love how it feels and then I'm like, hey, I gotta make that. And even though it may sound similar or feel similar, they're still different enough that I enjoy it, you know, and it's, hey, <laughs> I got plenty of switches, so why not? So here's two popular uh, tactile switches. This is the Tech C Purple Panda, and a lot of people love this. I'm just gonna give it a, put it in front of the mic and so it's got a medium tactility with a nice uh, snap at the bottom of it. Uh, the bottom out, it has a nice long pole stem. So you can see that it sticks out that little, yeah, what is it, half a millimeter out, so it doesn't go all the way in. And the actuation distance is a tad bit shorter, I'd say. Um, but it's a decent little um, little tactile. A lot of people love this one. Now this one's, no, oh, trying to set it the right way. This one here is a newer entrant into the field and it did copy, um, it went along and jumped on the hype train. This is the Fecker Holy Panda. Now, for many of us in the budget community especially, we know the Fecker because of the Fecker IK75. Uh, they also make some other boards as well. But earlier this year, they released this uh, Fecker Holy Panda. And I've got to say, personally, I like these better than Glorious Pandas. I think that they're a better switch. Let me go ahead and just give you a little Their tactility is a little bit heavier, not not quite that much, but it has a two-stage spring that almost gives the the feeling of an up and down or actuation on both the up and down stroke. So uh, it's, it's a great linear uh, on itself, and even in its stock format, sounds fine. It sounds much better once it's lubed. But one day I decided to take the stem. From the purple panda and put it inside the uh holy panda and i came up with oh i meant it's in my hand the holy polar and this go into the mic not only that does it increase the um the tactility of the stem in the purple panda but that two-stage spring gives it a a fun like i'm not really into fidget spinners but i am into switches i literally carry a couple around in my pocket anywhere i go because sitting and clicking some actually burn some of that extra anxious energy sometimes but it's a it's a satisfying um actuation force plus i mean we can't 
kid ourselves, we are into aesthetics because we love keyboards. And I mean, that all white look is really nice. So um, I do believe that a couple of uh, subredditors have adopted this. I do have a set loaded up on one of my boards. Uh, that's my kid has um, commandeered. So otherwise I do a little sound test right now because I don't have enough. Actually, I might to build another set but that's for the future right now um, i was playing around with now some of you may have heard of uh the otemu silent lemon now i got these uh when they first came around now some people are saying that they come looped uh, if they do that's actually pretty impressive i bought these the otemu panda um and a couple of other of the otemus when they first released them to give them a try and um this one is a silent tactile but I mean if you if you're used to bottoming out it's it's uh, it's akin to the smushing a bug it's just uh, I mean it is silent so um, personally I prefer I just go with a boba uh, if I need the silent especially the e4 because that I mean this while it's tactile it's barely there like uh, when they made it they made it sitting next to a tactile switch kind of thing next to a brow <laughs> but anyway I, I i wasn't too too impressed with with this at all and then i decided to take one of these what yeah a blue and a tamu clicky yeah, clicky and take an otemu clicky blue and then I have it here nope i have it right here now <clears throat> I lubed it up. I uh, lubed the stem of the click jacket and I put it inside of this. Now, because I mean, a clicky is technically a tactile, this one has a really nice tactile of that. Now, the, the snap on it is pretty decent. It's a little higher pitched, but the feeling of it, I mean, it's just. It's, it's one of those just fun to play with. And I'm actually in the middle of making a batch of these because I really am interested to feel, to, to, to see what it feels like to type an entire, you know, to use an entire keyboard loaded with these because I was, uh, I mean, I've had that jar of blues just sitting around. I made jailhouse blues a while back, um, but I took them off the board. They're just sitting in a jar as well. But these are, uh, you know, just regular Otemus and, course they fit nicely into the Otemu jackets but just to play around uh, you know you get left over uh, some parts and sometimes they will bring nice things now this is the body of an Akko starfish but it's got the stem of a um, Fakra Holy Panda that was left over from making the Holy Polar and this one also has a because it comes with a two-stage spring already as well um, and you know it's a linear switch that's in it it's a linear stem but it actually makes for a nice big D like a capital D actuation and has an interesting timber to it I mean I'm actually quite interested to see what this is going to sound like about the plastic and a metal board because I don't know if this is being captured properly, but it's 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 just interesting. I mean, the sound of it. I don't know. Um, once I put those together, I'll definitely be doing a, a sound test. Now, of course, what happens with that? We get the stem uh, from the. Uh, this is what a starfish uh, normally looks like, the Akko. So we have the stem left over. Well, what if we put it inside of the purple panda housing? We get a decent linear. It's nothing to write home about. It has a decent snap, and it has little little wobble to speak of. I mean, it's in there, nice and nice and tight. But it's it's a decent light linear. I would say it's probably good for even a gaming linear. So out of, you know, that little combination, all of the parts were able to be used, which is a nice thing. Um, and 
like I said, this can be done. The, the, this one, I've seen it done before. I was just copying it because I like it. This is a J-Wick black with the nylon, or nylon J-Wick black top. Um, it's one of the J-Wick blacks, but it's got an NK cream stem in it. And this makes for a really loud, snappy linear. And it's actually very nice. I've been tempted to make an entire batch of these. But they have a nice loud, I mean, it is a little bit higher pitched, but it's still, it still, it works nicely. Now for a couple others that I've made here just recently, just playing around, um, there is an interesting one. Let's see if I can actually locate it. I, I do create a lot of these, especially when I have leftover ones. So here we've got basically one of the bodies from the Otemu Blues left over, and I put a cream stem in it. Ooh. So you mean I could put a cream in an Otemu socket board? Well, this one is a nice and deeper toned, even though it's in a clear top. Usually clear means a little bit higher pitch, but there's a deeper tone in there and it comes out nicely. And I was quite surprised at how well that sounded, almost like a creamer on. Um, and then... Uh, there's these, uh, I don't know if anybody has seen these, but these are KTT matches. And, I mean, they're a tactile switch. They don't have many. Most of their, most of KTT's linears are very similar. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're nice. They're not S tier or anything, but they're, they're decent switches, but there's not much difference between them except for the colors. That's why I've gotten a batch of them and I wanted to do a review, but... I basically just could apply the same review to all of them yeah, and I don't think that's fair I don't know one of these days maybe I'll get around to it but I this is the only linear I was able to find from KTT and it's called the matcha green now it's uh it's not a silent tactile but it's not I mean it's almost Granted, this is stock. All of these are stock unless they're, they've already been mixed and matched. Though I've lubed those. So, <clears throat> the match on its own is like, meh, meh. But it does have a nice neon stem. Now, this is the uh, housing for an Akko um, sponge. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the different animals they use this one's for a sponge so it does actually come originally with a, a tactile spring i mean a tactile stem so it has a tactile leaf so with this um stem from the ktt matcha so this is the original matcha and this is just replacing this the stem of the Akko um, sponge jelly sponge yeah it's from the jelly series and putting in the stem from the KTT matcha so there can be a lot of fun now again with that one eh, usually what you have left over isn't gold but at least if it's usable hmm. so we've got the stem that comes in the sponge and the aqua sponge inside the housing of the ktt mancha and we're left with a fairly decent tactile it's not bad it's better than the original one has more of a snap And the, tac the tactile event is actually just, or the actuation event is a little more pronounced than it was stock. This is what that one sounds like stock. It, and I don't know, I'm using the same spring and everything, but it, it just doesn't. I mean, it's okay. I, I like this, which is a decent tactile, um, and it does have this 
double actuation, but inside of here, it just makes it one nice big one that also pops in a little bit of the deeper tone. So, um, and that here's actually one of the same stems I put it in a temu. The stem is actually just a really good stem because this is the uh, one of the um, housings for the Otemo Blues. So even in a cheaper housing, I mean, don't get me wrong, Otemo, they're good switches, they're just budget. Um, but it actually sounds pretty good and the actuation is there. So um, there's, there's so many different possibilities uh, with switches and um, here is a yeah because I, I did make one with the uh, holy tom and that one's around here somewhere but I ended up using the stem and I get a nice linear this is the stem from the uh, the uh, starfish inside of the body body of a holy tom v2 So it has a, it sounds better honestly than than the stock. And oh yeah, here's the stock. I was like, wait a minute, I thought I had them around here. So, and this also has one of those good stems. It's very similar actually to the matcha. You got to just look at it closely uh, to distinguish. One is a little bit more. Let's see, it's like yellowish, more neon this one. But stock, it's. It's okay. It's not bad. I I I'd consider it better than the matcha for sure. But it's uh, once you take the stem and put it, I even put no. Uh, that one I don't know. So let's go ahead and just do it right now. Let's take the holy tom. Let me see. Since we're dealing with a tactile. Usually, I mean, don't get me wrong, tactiles can work in linears, but it's nicer sometimes, especially if they have the linear, uh, the tactile leaf sprung. So, now we have the blue here. What happens if we go ahead and open up this blue? Now, these are Otemus. They're not necessarily the best. Uh, usually, I just end up using tweezers anyway. It's just easier. set that blue down for a second just out of curiosity go ahead and put this in here and go ahead and give this a quick little lube this is my 80 20 super lube mix a little dab on that channel a little dab on that channel and then go a little bit ring around the rosy Try not to lose the spring. Just leave a little trail of grease. Almost like a donut dip. Then I'm going to go ahead and take... What did I do? Here's the top. I oh, know. Looking for the clear top. The step. There we go. I had a few too many switches that were sitting right in front of me there. I go ahead. So we're putting the Holy Tom stem into a uh, otemu blue so that's what it sounds like in a cheap switch housing this is what it sounds like stock Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Sorry. That was the wrong one. This is... I need to another Holy Tom. That was the uh, KTT Matcha. My apologies. I was like, wait a minute. I think the Holy Tom sounds better. So, well, I'm not holding the Holy Tom. So many switches. Not enough time. So this is what the Holy Tom sounds like. Stock. And this is what the Holy Tom... Uh, stem inside of a, a Temu 
housing with its stem, but lubed, sounds like. So obviously the lube is given it, but so let's be fair. Let's go ahead and just give this the same treatment, just so we're comparing apples to apples, right? Go ahead and take and put a little dab on the top of this, a little dab on the top of that. And then when these two stages, I like to do the ring around right the middle stage, the break in the spring. And then let's go, oh, that's, this is the top. I like to grab it this way. Make sure we're the right way, all right. All right. Make sure that it spreads. So yes. It does sound a little better. Again, same stem in uh, Tamu um, housing. See, there's a lot of little differences that can be done. Now, let me show you what I did to make um, these, uh, I don't even know what to call them. I mean, lime with blue, I mean, blue limes. Because I mean they're not definitely silent anymore, and uh, but they got that nice crisp. Anyway, with these clip jackets, it's uh, it's really an easy task. I put a dab of my 80/20 mix right there, and a dab of my 80/20 mix right there. And that's it. That does the trick. Let me find the top housing. I like to put it in first, make sure that I'm going the right direction. Let's put it down. Let's go ahead and lube. I haven't done this one yet. So see, there's just, uh, the more switches you have exponentially, the possibilities go up. And I'm not, I haven't even gotten into house, housing swaps, which I don't recommend in most cases, but sometimes when you can tell that they're the same molds, then it's okay. Um, but there, there are a lot of tops that they may fit but they may damage the leaf spring. And that's, if you're gonna try it, just be careful. You know, um, and always, if you wanna make a batch, if, you're, if you intend to make an entire batch, make sure that before you make your second switch, you put that first switch in a keyboard and you test it. Test to make sure it isn't bouncing like crazy. Test to make sure it's actually actuating. Don't go through and make an entire set Franken switches only to find out they don't work. Yes, I've done it. Anyway, so we go ahead and um, add a dab of my 8020 on the top of each reel stem, and then we go about halfway around with a dab of grease in the middle of the spring. I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, top housing by the uh, stem, and then we just line it up. Make sure that we're on the right side. I always like to press the stem in to make sure it's going in good. And then we close it up. So this one, meh. It's not, it's not awful, but it's not anything I'd write home about. But see, you live and you learn, but you can, through the processes, you'll find um, what different materials the different stems, um, the way they are, long stems, um, if they're skinnier, if they're thicker, uh, if they're dust proof style, they're not box style, uh, dust proof style, um, you know, d different little things that you'll find and you'll find that you can have a lot of fun. Anyway, I do. So I hope I didn't take up too much of your time today. I just, like I said, I just wanted to share uh, just another a little thing that you can do. I mean, I know sometimes people are like, well, I haven't had a new keyboard in a while, or, you know, I want to do something new or create something. I create Franken switches all the time. I'm not selling them. I'm creating them for myself and I enjoy it. It is like puzzling and it is like Legos, like my wife says. It's big boy Lego. But I'm like, it's adult Lego. There's a lot of us. There's, there's boys, girls, everyone's playing this game. <laughs> We all enjoy keyboards, at least the ones watching and talking with me right now. Anyway, it was great sharing with you, as always. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and perhaps you even learned something along the way. 
Until next time, keep calm and keyboard on.